the perfect conditions for composting. Imagine turning organic material and yard waste into black gold. It's possible, and it starts with the perfect composting conditions. Composting is a natural process that transforms organic waste into valuable compost. The key to successful composting is creating the ideal conditions for microorganisms to break down the material efficiently. There are four main factors to consider. Balance of materials, moisture, aeration, and temperature. We start with the balance of material, and it has all to do with the carbon to nitrogen ratio. The carbon part will form the bulk compost, and the nitrogen will provide energy for the microorganisms to break down the organic material. It is very important to get this ratio as close to perfect as possible. In general, one part's brown material such as leaves and straw to one part green material such as grass clippings mixed together works well. A lack of green material can be corrected by applying external nitrogen in the form of urea. Start your compost pile with a layer of coarse materials like straw or twigs to ensure good drainage. Then, alternate layers of green and brown materials mixing them well to promote even decomposition. As you are mixing, add water for moisture. Moisture is key. Your compost should feel like a wrung out sponge, maintaining 40 to 60% moisture. Too dry and the microbes slow down. Too wet and you get a soggy mess. Be careful when applying water. If your heap is too wet, consider adding more brown material to lower moisture content. Aeration is another vital factor. Microorganisms need oxygen to decompose organic materials efficiently. Turn your compost pile at least every week to introduce air and prevent it from becoming compacted. Proper aeration reduces odors and speeds up the composting process. If you don't turn the pile, it can go into an anaerobic phase and the composting process will stop. The next factor is temperature. If you have your moisture levels, aeration, and nitrogen ratio sorted, the microorganisms should be active and start to increase the temperature of your compost pile. When you see your compost pile smoking as you turn it, you know you are on the right path. Heat is your friend and the ideal temperatures for perfect compost range from 57 to 73 Celsius or 135 to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. This speeds up decomposition and kills off weed seeds and pathogens. If the temperature is too low, Weed seeds and pathogens could survive, and the composting process will not be successful, leaving you with compost that could lead to nitrogen drawdown when the compost is used. If the temperature drops, it might be time to turn the pile or add more green materials to boost the microbial activity. After a few months, your compost will be dark, crumbly, and earthy smelling. It's ready to enrich your garden soil, helping your plants grow strong and healthy. Remember. Composting is not just about recycling waste. It's about creating a sustainable and vibrant ecosystem. And there you have it, the best conditions for composting. Get this right, and you are on your way to produce quality compost.